<laughs> All right. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm joining you now for this Friday video with a guest. Um, I've done a lot of really sensible tutorials with these palettes over the past weeks. A lot of people had asked, ever since Buzz's been doing these unboxings and the vlogs, like, maybe he should try again at doing your makeup. And so I thought, okay, how about we give him my palettes and see what he can do with those, right? That's right. How do you feel about this, Bo? A little intimidated. Yeah? You're not a makeup artist? I'm not a makeup artist. Um. I've done, other than trying a few things in, in those unboxings, I've, I've done makeup one time. I think you have shown great potential, though. It is also about 5.30 in the morning. He's got to do these on my time, y'all, uh, dark and early. What do you have in your lab okay, here? I've got both the wants and the needs. We're going to start with the needs. Okay, then I'll sit this over here for you. Duh. We're just going. I th uh, thought there'd be like a some, so some sort of entry music or something <laughs> like that. Or... Oh, that's all in the editing, bub. The guest. Guest. I'm not a makeup artist. Oh. I'm not, not, not a makeup artist. This is the needs palette. You take it, throw it in your purse, and you've got everything that you would need to do pretty much whatever you wanted to do. And I then... just started to wonder that if for some reason this doesn't go wonderfully, <laughs> like, do I have to redo my makeup? I think part of the deal is since I'm putting myself out there to do this video, you've got to. You've got to rock it the rest of the day. I've got to commit work. to the look. Right. Okay. I don't know what you're so worried about. Okay. I'm not worried. I just wondered what the backup plan was. I've not watched any tutorials. So this is just me with whatever I have managed to absorb over the years. <laughs> I haven't brushed my teeth yet today. Got a bit of a head start. What do we have done so far? Um, I put on my foundation, concealer, a little powder and my eyebrows. So I thought at the end of all this, your little cherry on top, you could get to pick a lip product. <laughs> there have been a few just basic brushes laid out for me. I just kind of went for the most medium looking face brush I could find in there. If I'm recalling correctly, we want to use bronzer in the kinds of areas where the sun would hit you. I'm not going to give you there's a ton gonna, of feedback. There's not going to but... be a lot of coaching. Um, yes, you can see that just a small tap into the palette tends to pick up enough product. <laughs> yeah. You live and you learn. Most people get to go through this, this experience when they're like in junior high. And <laughs> okay, um, I would throw out the general tip that if you just run a brush over something enough, maybe it will blend out. Right. It's getting better. It's getting better. This is courage. That he's been putting on here? Courage. Courage. <laughs> courage. What it's going to take to wear this look all day. <laughs> it's not over yet. This side's better than that side, at least. If only there was a basic matte face color in the palette that could almost be layered up over something when you went too dark. I'm being coached. Minimal coaching. Minimal coaching. I think he deserves a little minimal coaching considering he hasn't watched anything I've done. I don't watch the tutorial stuff. I get lost in that. Okay. We all need a little more kindness. Is that the shade you're using right now? Yeah. It's sort of a pun, but also true. We're getting better. I'm going to let you be the judge on when it's time to move on, when it's time to step back. And just, that first application, I just got a little too aggressive with the bronzer. Well, you're learning that you don't have to really scrub into the product, right? Yeah, it well, only they're takes... so pigmented, you know? <laughs> such wonderful products. I'm going to use Joy as sort of like a blush situation. The blush? Mm -hmm. There we go again. Aggressive. <gasps> he just tapped off the excess! We're going places, people. This is the most hesitant application of blush ever. That's probably, and that's why. It's way too far out there. Oh god, oh god. She's gonna look like Mulan in the opening <laughs> scene. Just keep blending. 
I don't know what I'm doing. I lost it. <laughs> it's getting near my mouth. You have a very small face. What? <laughs> it's very small. <laughs> my hands are actually sweating. So am I. What are you doing now? I'm using kindness to balance out my... Kindness is the matte translucent powder in this palette. Tapped off excess. <laughs> you ever heard of the phrase apple of the cheek bum? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> Never looked into that one? Okay, it's fine. <laughs> that's, that's, some, that's something that registered to like really dig in the, this part right here. Uh huh. <laughs> what would this video be if it wasn't tiny, subtle coaching? <laughs> That'll be the title. <laughs> subtle coaching. The Emily edit was subtle coaching. I think it's like he went lighter on one cheek to overcorrect for yeah, the other. that's the problem. The whole symmetry thing. No, go on, go on, well, I'm sorry. It's gonna look bad on one side, but okay, it'll look bad okay, on the go other. Go on, go on. This is like my backhand. I'll let everyone see how it's coming. Yeah, not well. That placement felt right. I think it was. That's where I should have, if I would have done that to begin with. We're learning. Oh, here's an idea. It's the second part of this video. You try to fix it without taking anything off. Oh, the, a challenge? Yeah, like, fix you, got, it like without... you, got, you roll with it and you crack okay. Bob's debacle. Okay. See if it can be done. I'm gonna use some gratitude. I don't know what exactly for, but it's right there. It's a highlight. Here, bring it back, it's your Neapolitan. It's this color right here. Bro, dude. See, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put it right underneath the eye. Probably gonna be too much of it. I'm trying to find the appropriate. <laughs> I'm trying to move, <laughs> you're, you're, move my face so the brush lands in the appropriate spot. That's the unspoken coaching. You want to just recap for everybody what you used in this palette? Okay, so I used Courage as, as a bronzer, and then Joy as blush, Gratitude's your highlight, and then Kindness is what I used to try and fix what I screwed up. Any uh, overall insights or impressions on mm. the product as you... So easy. You need less product than you think you do, or at least than I think I do. Okay. Alrighty, now you're wanting to switch palettes. What do you think you need maybe first? An eye primer. And I guess I kind of assumed that was one of the things that would have been done. Do you want me to go ahead and do it? Yeah, I think that I think that falls into like the foundation category. Okay. Give Bub a little break here. And I just smooth a little bit of that all over the lid space and up under the brow. And Bub, I would say um, the needs palette taught you something and that is, you know, Keep a light hand and right. build little by little. I've got a few brushes here. Okay. I haven't told Bub what to use them for, but if you need more brushes than that, Bub, just tell me. We'll do something kind of purpley. How do you feel about that? It's your call, Bubs. I got purple in there. Let's start with family and the crease. What is the crease? Can you find a crease now? Can you see where the crease of my eye is? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to look down and I'm going to expose that area so you can... And something I always say in my tutorials is that the first spot where you place your brush is where the most product goes. Tell me if I'm doing this too hard. You're being very gentle. Am I being too gentle? I'm just trying to get this whole crease lined um, somewhat evenly. Get it uniform all the way through. I'm gonna give you a little tip here too. Mm -hmm. Here's just like a bare brush. Mm -hmm. And if you need to blend over something that doesn't that seems like a rough edge or something that doesn't look totally smooth, just take this without anything mm -hmm. on it and you can go over it. I wouldn't go as far as to say it's an eraser, but it helps you know, you can just move it real quickly back and forth, back and forth, and sometimes you can get more of a blend than you had with the brush that carried the product. You know? That makes sense. Uh, open them again. Now close them. Open them again. Now close them. Might be a little better 
with my backhand. Did I say what this was? This is family. That's a like a deep purple. That is matte. And then I'm gonna use uh, Bell Violet for the lid. Looks like this nice little flat brush would be good for an eyelid. Okay, so you got a little lightness going on now on the lid? Yep. Yeah. Kind of want to blend those in together. There's a sort of a area where the two come together. I'm trying to make them uniform-ish. I want to do something else because this is too purple. You got other shades? So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. about the outer corner here you know sometimes I don't always use one shade all over the entire yeah, lid but thinking, I'll it's too... overlap into something if it's looking too purple think about is there anything neutral in this palette that's maybe not so colorful there's several neutrals Capricorn. <laughs> When was I born? Was it uh, December 27th putting me in the sign of Capricorn? Oh, that's probably too much. Just lost it. It's one way outside the bounds. It's okay. My poor bub is sweating over here. I'm I can sweating sit profusely. I know it doesn't look good, but I don't know how to make it look better. You know, it's it, you're the artist here. It's your mm. decision. These family in their crease. Mm -hmm. And then bell violet on the on on the lids, and then Capricorn kind of on that outside. Because he was saying it was too purpley, too purpley. and he wanted to take it down a notch. Right. Honestly, you didn't do half bad on that eye. Like, I mean, not really any fallout on my on my cheeks from these shadows, even though you were swishing back and forth. And the blend is not terrible there. I mean, there are a couple spots, but I think I can work with this look. And I think I can, um, you know, put on my eyeliner and, you know, do my follow-up steps. But would you like to pick out a lip product for me, Mom? Sure. The Too Faced set here. Or I've got some of these over here. Just kind of look around. Let's go with something. Okay. It's simple. Let's go with this bad boy. Okay, he chose the pumpkin spice. You want me to put that on? Yeah. Matches your coffee. Yes, I am drinking pumpkin spice coffee. Throw this on. So, what are your thoughts? What are your What are your finished mm. thoughts this, on this experience this is, overall? It's very hard to do. It's not something you can come into and and you think you know what something's supposed to be, but then you actually look at someone's face. How does it like, translate? Okay. Understand. And like you miss a line, you know, by an inch and it makes no sense and it looks bad. So. One of my favorite lines was, your face is too small. Yeah, it's too small. I mean, it would be a lot easier if your face was, you know, twice as big. I think you are awesome for getting up at five in the morning to come up here and do this with me, number one. Number two, this could have gone a lot worse. This is something, I'm, I'm not going to wash my face, but I am going to go through a few little things to, uh, maybe enhance or, or correct here and there. Later on, you'll see what I ended up doing and I'll get your reaction to that also. So. Excellent. <laughs> Towel off at least. Towel off. All right, guys, I was gonna just go through the entire fix and then just pop back on and say, hey, here's what I did, but I thought it might um, be a bit more informative if I just went through it. We've got a little, clearly like a lot of product on my cheeks between the bronzer and the blush that he put on. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this stick foundation and I'm going to just kind of go like this. I mean, this is not a, a step that I typically go through with my makeup, but I'm going to re-brighten up in here and re-brighten underneath so I can sort of re-establish the structure of my face. <laughs> so I've got my Sephora Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush here and that was the Revolution um, Fast Base Stick. I'm going to just use that kind of like as a cream highlight and really get my jawline lightened up a little bit and not totally do away with what he had here. I need to brighten up under the eye, just touch and just kind of dab over what was applied. I've still got what he did there right in here in the hollow of the cheek, but I'm just dabbing. 
got a little dark right around this sort of fold, which doesn't really do anyone any favors. Continue to re-brighten right up in here. A little dark right in the center of the forehead. So whatever's left on my brush, I'll just kind of use that to blend around here. But this was not terribly out of line, you know? It was just a little off from the placement I would usually go toward. I may replace just a little bit of joy right here just on that apple of the cheek because we have so much richness in the eye look and the lip right now. We don't want the cheek to just fade into nothing. I'll do a little more gratitude over the top for a little glow. So skin is pretty easily back in shape, back in business here. Now for the eyes, the main area I see like coming right in here I'm taking my Sigma E40, it's a bare brush. I may not even add anything else to this look, but as you can see, just a little blending, not so much in a really wide motion, but in these short, if not even almost circular motions, where short back and forth can really take something that was close to being blended and fully blend it out. Here we got a lot of color right in there, so I may go in with something lighter. But the overall shape that he actually got with this eye look, like the, the structure of the shadow, was not far off from what I would actually do. I'm going to take a little bit of the cream and I'll work that in kind of right there and right in here. And it looks like Belle Violet got a little bit up into my crease somehow, not so much on the lid, so I'm going to pick that up with what he was trying to do there. and make sure it's down actually on the lid right in here and just sort of recreate that effect he was going for. And with this, just a couple swipes into the product and then gentle swiping motions across the lid works really well. The two most fascinating things to me about all of this were probably how he managed to shape the entire eyeshadow look and also how he seemed to be like really I don't know, going back forth, back forth with a lot of the blending, but I am not speckled all over my cheeks with fallout. So now everyone, I'm just gonna do some liner and lashes and we'll see how that sort of transforms the overall shape of the eye. All right, everybody, so here we are with the finished look. I did some black liquid liner and then took a little bit of um, passion from the Needs palette and just kind of, you know, smudged into that with that eyeshadow, but I curled my lashes and applied mascara top and bottom and that's the eye. For the lips, I took a little bit of the edge off that orange with some of this Balm Jour or Konichiwa um, creamy lip stain. It honestly didn't change the color too much, but it dialed back the orange just a little bit. And then of course you saw how we took a simple foundation stick and swiped over some areas and you know that might not be the most wonderful fix. It would be great to just you know swipe off and start over, but that was the best thing I could think to do to sort of reestablish the framework of my face and lighten up here at the bottom part but keep the color on the cheeks. I don't know what there is to be gained from this look. It was just kind of fun to see like what he would end up doing here. But if you do run into some real disasters, maybe now you have some ideas on how to fix them. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for sharing all of your amazing looks with me using these palettes. I love seeing it on Instagram and your looks in YouTube tutorials and everything like that. And like I have addressed, Revolution is going through some quality concerns with the Once palettes and making sure that everything is absolutely perfect for the restock because there had been like some 50 palettes that had mold on two specific shades, the Cheer and Love Tons colors. And they've had in independent investigations on this, and while it's proven to be a small-scale thing, I'm really, really relieved that they're taking a huge reaction to it by making sure that their website customers and all the retailers that they deal with have new, confirmed, perfect once palettes. Some people say their stores are out of the needs palette. If that's the case, then they've sold out. But the next time you see the palettes together in store, it's going to be stocked up in Revolution's main display. So that is something that's going to be redone to fit the product in there, which will be exciting to see. It will have an actual home in Ulta and I know a lot of stores kind of tend to operate on their own little schedules so some might put it out sooner some later but the message I'm getting now is that it should be online in a couple of weeks could be a little sooner on Revolution's actual websites but again when I know something concrete I'll tell you but again thank you guys so much for taking time to watch these Friday videos if you've got the palettes at home and you're trying the looks I think that's amazing if you've got only one or the other palette and you're waiting to get your hands on the other um, hopefully this gives you just this little stockpile of info that you can go to when you get your palettes and, and 
get some ideas and some inspiration. Also, the stuff I repost on Instagram has been amazing, and I've got my eyes on looks that I've reposted there that I totally want to try myself because you guys are doing amazing things with the palettes. Seen some really cool looks from different YouTubers too that I want to try, so it's just, it's an exciting time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye. Bub's hanging out down here in the basement. So, Bub, am I wearable out of the house? Very much. What do you think? I like it. I mean, there was a lot of color down here low on my cheeks. Yeah. I took nothing balance, off. Balance that out. I took nothing off. I just took a foundation stick and I went junk and I kind of blended yeah. up to what you did. So it lessened the effect of the darkness down here. Put on my eyeliner here. Mascara. I mean. Not too shabby. What's up? You did I'm, awesome. I'm a genius. Actually shocked at your placement of the crease color and how nicely it shaped in with my winged liner today. You know? Uh, I knew you'd want a winged liner, so. Did you think I was actually going to be able to turn this into something? I wasn't that I sure. Well, I mean, I've got faith in your skills, but you had a little bit of work to do. Frankly, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. You've got potential. You do have potential. I love you, bub. Love Thank you too. for doing this with me. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.